you're thinking about it. Wanna put your feet in? Yeah, go with mommy. Go, go follow mommy. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, we did just eat. That's the lava. We walked it off though. We back it off, right? Yeah. The worst thing is, is when you get that wool wet, y'all ever been caught in the rain in a in a wool coat? How heavy it gets, right? And it takes on water like a sponge. And now, because of those heavy waterlogged dresses, uh -huh. ladies are drowning like sinkers in the surf, <laughs> getting caught in the tide and floated right out into the harbor. So, two things, uh, ladies. When you come to the beach, bring a nice long rope, right? <laughs> Secondly, only wade out about waist deep. If you keep your feet on the sand, you're less likely to be caught in the tide and towed out to yeah. the harbor. <laughs> and secondly, make sure you've tethered yourself to something secure like the changing room or a stake that you've pounded into the sand. Tie your rope off to that and pin yourself to the rope. <laughs> and now when you wade out, you've got a lifeline. <laughs> Baby. If you find yourself knocked off your feet, you can grab that rope yeah. and pull yourself back in. And it gets to where no young lady would dare wade out or into that rough water without first tying herself to the beach. Okay? Another way to show off is with fancy gardens. A lot of lawn space isn't what you want. A lot of flower and shrubs, bushes and bulbs. And even better yet, if someone can carve a topiary. Now, young man, check out this bush. There's its oh. tail. There's oh. its nose. Step pig. Up. What is it? A pig. It is. It's a flying pig. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, there's another one across the sidewalk there. Pretend the fence is water. Oh. Space in the whale. ocean. That's a whale. You yeah. see? And look on the top. Shooting water. Pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? Yep. There's little ones there. Yeah. I mean, you got to make cool. those bushes are crazy. They're pretty crazy, right? I think it's pretty neat. Really now, guys, awesome. this house was used by the toy company when they designed the Barbie Dream Home. They copied every detail of the house, even the address 664. Ah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, right next door to Barbie House, look at the name on the gate, Rockwell Cottage. Now y'all are familiar with Norman Rockwell, the famous artist, right? Yeah. He was not the owner of the house, y'all, because, well, a starving artist certainly can't afford a fancy summer cottage in Cape Met. But if you got a family member that owns a house at the shore, you'll come see him. And Norman Rockwell's brother was very successful. So he would see them there working on paintings for the Saturday evening post right there uh, on that front porch. Yeah. 